Hello everybody, Ryan here with Product Impressions. It's been a while since I have tried a Chromebook, and so today we have the new Chromebook Plus from Acer, this one specifically Chromebook Plus 516 GE. It is a 16 inch device, or 16 inch screen on here, Intel Core 5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage built in. This one is supposed to be targeted towards people who play games. The reason why I am trying it is basically because of this channel. Thank you, Best Buy, for sending this to me to check out. But uh, yeah, so I, I do some video editing and I was doing some research and it looks like Chromebooks actually have some apps that you can download that should be good for video editing. So my theory here is I am going to actually put together this whole video and edit it on this Acer Chromebook. So we're gonna see how well this works. See uh, if Chromebooks are actually better. I haven't been that impressed in the past, but we're gonna see if they are any better now uh, with some better specs. Before, not even enough memory to really do much of anything, but uh, at least in my usage. So we're gonna pop this open, get it set up, see what we think and uh, the capabilities for editing videos and things of that nature. All right. All right, so I've been using this Chromebook for a little while and I must say I am genuinely impressed with it. Typically, I have not been all that impressed with Chromebooks. It's still kind of iffy, but for $450, this would make a nice kind of intro machine for somebody who just needs something for school or something like that. But ultimately, it is something you are really gonna have to upgrade away from. Now, I must say the video processing, the graphics processing on this is very good. As you can see here, I have it running through my docking station, which has it connected to three monitors. We've got 1080p, 1080p, and a 4K monitor on top of the uh, display that is built in, which I must, must say is quite clear. It is a very nice display. Um, and it has absolutely no problem with this. You can have different apps open in each window. It uh, runs everything perfectly. I have seen no delays. Ultimately, I was able to find an app that is free to download where you can do basic video editing. It is very limited software, but once again, it's free. And if you want to do YouTube videos or something like that, this machine is very capable of doing that. Otherwise, I'm really impressed with the build quality. We'll take a look, closer look at the machine itself shortly. But I did wanna say everything about this works very nicely. There are some quirks with the Chrome operating system that you do need to be aware of. First off, it is very economical. It is very scaled down from anything that you would find from Mac or Windows. You are seeing different things open here. Every screen has a separate bar. You need to be aware of which screen, which of these bars you are going to in order to actually open an app because that is the screen that it will show up on. You can drag from one place to another sometimes. Some apps will, some apps won't. And that is really the theme of Chrome. Some apps work, some apps don't. And there's no way of knowing what those apps are. I did find a video editor that would work. It was the third one that I downloaded. Other ones show up as a window that's about that big and you're supposed to try and figure out what you're doing with that. Really not usable. Other apps like Chrome, Gmail, perfectly usable, whatever size you want. Now, I, I, I did mention that this center monitor is 4K. This is another limitation of the Chrome operating system. Yes, it will display in 4K. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that, but you're probably not able to read any of the text on here. It is really small. There is nothing you can do about that. You cannot change the resolution away from 4K. You cannot have it rescale to 125 or 150% so that it actually is legible. You are stuck with what you have. So if you have a 4K monitor, it will be tiny. That being said, they did market this as being a gaming system. I am not big on games, but I do the video editing and I figured that that would probably test the graphics capability. I do have one game on here and it looks kind of weird because it comes up in 4K and basically nothing on the App Store is meant to be run in 4K. So aspect ratios end up looking kind of strange. Uh, it's also difficult to know what games are going to work because this machine does not have a touchscreen. 
and virtually everything on the Play Store is meant to be used on mobile devices, which are almost exclusively touchscreen. So you never know what's going to work. Controls get really weird. It's just strange. Like, sure, it works. Are you gonna be able to do everything? No, definitely not. A lot of apps aren't gonna work. Thankfully, some of them will tell you when you are downloading that it's not gonna work on a Chromebook. So you can avoid downloading and testing them out. But ultimately, it is an absolute crapshoot of trial and error to see what, if anything, is actually going to work. I shouldn't say if anything, plenty of stuff does work, but there are very little in the way of indications as far as what you can and cannot do as far as apps that you download. <sighs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the build quality on this. I must say, the actual hardware that you get is quite nice. So uh, this is, everything is very nice matte. The keyboard is nice, it is backlit. Uh, if you are doing some games, they have white around WASD, which are the traditional uh, direction keys for a lot of older games. At least that was always the case when I was growing up. Uh, otherwise, even though it is uh, feels plasticky, it looks very premium, and I must say it is nice. The sound quality is also quite nice coming from the speakers for a laptop. Is it amazing? Do you get great bass? No. But for a laptop, the speakers are quite nice. One other thing that is worth looking at is the actual case here. This is where it looks really premium from the outside. The top has a little bit of a uh, shimmer to it, but this is all like brushed aluminum on the back, and you can see how it catches the light in this video. It looks really premium. So yes, this is very premium for a Chromebook, and that is, the key there is for a Chromebook. Is it premium overall? Build quality, yes. OS holds it back. In any case, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, features that we have here. Over here on the left-hand side of the machine, you've got a USB-C or Thunderbolt port. You've got an Ethernet port, headphone, and a battery indicator. And over here, we've got a USB Type 3, 3.0, HDMI port, and another Thunderbolt port. So you can charge from either side. If you've got external monitors, you can connect. And as you can see, it will run those things with no problem whatsoever. And you will still have the second port where you can actually charge the computer from. So all in all, I am impressed with this machine. It is a good computer. It looks very premium, but I once again find the Chrome operating system just kind of holds these machines back. I know that IT people really like them because they are very secure. That is nice. A lot of things are done on the cloud. But when you are wanting to do a lot in the way of work or more professional things, you're going to need to look at Windows or Mac because the world is equipped for those, not so much for Chromebooks. Uh, hopefully this has been of some help to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. I will do my best to answer whatever I can. Otherwise, uh, like, share, subscribe. I will see you next time. And I should also say thank you to Best Buy for sending me this machine. It costs about $450 there at the time of me doing this review. And I must say that Google does do a good job of uh, maintaining the operating system. I think it's for like seven years you keep getting updates, something to that effect. So yeah, all in all, nice machine. It's a seems to me like a good starter computer if you really get involved in the operating system and understanding what Chrome is capable of. It is capable, but the Play Store, figuring out what will actually run, that is where things get a little finicky and a little bit touchy and it's just difficult. So, uh, yeah, all in all, great budget machine. You don't have to buy most of the apps, so yeah, that's an added expense that you don't really have to worry about. But uh, yeah, once again, like, share, subscribe. I will see you next time.